When the Highlander just is too small, Sequoia too big, here's the Goldilocks. This is the Grand Highlander for families of large sizes. <laughs> Popping the hood of this Hybrid Max, the engine just turned on, and the Hybrid Max takes a four-cylinder turbo, connects it to an electric motor, connects that to a six-speed auto, that all powers the front wheels, then you get another electric motor in the rear to give you 362 horsepower total and 400 pound-feet of torque. It is a muscle car of a family three-row crossover, and we're getting over 25 miles per gallon it is quite impressive of a powertrain. But keep in mind, you still have the standard hybrid around 240 horsepower, then you have the standard turbo engine uh, as a different powertrain around 260 horsepower. This one gives you an extra 100 horsepower. This one is absolutely incredible. I'll show you in the driving impressions. But the exterior here on this hybrid max on the platinum gives you an additional front lip here. It's a little bit more fancy because we have so much horsepower underneath the hood, but in terms of the styling, I don't think it really looks like a Highlander. It looks more of like an enlarged uh, RAV4, which makes sense. That is Toyota's best-selling vehicle, the RAV4, and why not just give it the, the old American triple XL and call it a day, and that's essentially what this Grand Highlander is. It's on the same K platform as so many other vehicles, like their Sienna, like their Highlander, like the Lexus TX, which this shares an assembly line with, etc. 20 inch wheels here that are exclusive to this uh, platinum grade. There are three grades. You have XLE, which is the base grade. You have limited and you have the platinum. Now, one thing I really like for families is that on this platinum, and it might be available on the limited too, but you have smart key access on all five doors. So it's just really easy and convenient to get the kids in and out of the car with having the easy access lock here and unlock features built into each door handle. All right, let's get into the back. Beautiful dual exhaust here on this Hybrid Max. And this has Toyota's Beyond Zero logo. It's their efforts to become carbon neutral by I think 2050, something like that. But this is seen on every single electrified Toyota model, whether it's fully battery electric, hybridized, plug-in hybrid, or even the Unicorn, the Mirai fuel cell vehicle. Grand Highlander stamped on the rear tailgate. And these rear, rear taillights, you know, I saw the new Tesla Model 3 refresh yesterday, and these taillights came out before that. So I wonder who copied who there. But regardless, um, we're going to flip this up. We just came from the big box store. We completely loaded the Grand Highlander, not only with children, which are not in the car right now. They're at home with grandparents. We didn't leave them alone. Don't worry. But we completely loaded up with food and water, um, and this had enough. Is it as convenient as our minivan? No. There's still no beating a minivan in terms of overall usability and functionality but if you don't want a minivan you want an suv but you still want as much space as possible this is this is the vehicle for you absolutely it's essentially the sienna with normal doors instead of the sliding doors speaking of normal doors these these suckers are huge and unfortunately they don't open that wide that's it you know i feel like we could have come out to here. It would have been a little bit easier to get the kids in and out of the car. Luckily for the babies and the little kiddos, we have this beautiful sunshade here. Keeps the sun off the kids. Materials are, are decent. This is actually soft touch here at the top. And come out, come inside and film me real quick. Check this out. Matte pockets on each side. Heated and ventilated seats on this Platinum model. We have AC 1500 watts, which is an additional plug in the back for extended power as well. But on top of that accessory power, you still have your standard USB-Cs here. You have this amazing panoramic roof, which is optional, even on the base XLE grade. It's a great, to ha great feature to have. Um, also what's great, Toyota's done an amazing job with airflow in here. The AC works super well. And luckily for the rear passengers, these vents are right above their faces. Like that doesn't, it doesn't get any better than this in terms of cooling you off. It's better than the front, right? Because those vents in the front are up here. Check that out. But we have this removable cup holder here, and this is the bronze theme in this platinum. Everything on the front, you know, the steering wheel and stuff is adorned in bronze. Real easy to just, yeah, that was it. That was the first time I did it, and it went in the first time. So I'm going to get in the back seat, and oh, it's a bit of a squeeze just to get back here. Let me move one of the kids' seat chairs here. Now, this model is a seven-seater. It can be equipped with an eight-seater. 
Uh, I don't think on this grade, I think it's on the XLE, you can get this the eight seater option, but this is a seven seat option. We completely max it out with the addition of Abe. But uh, yeah, even back here, we forgot our Watto bottle back here. Great prop for the video. Um, but there are three, like, well, I guess two and a half cup holders. There's a tablet holder back here. There's a USB-C right there. And this is a handle to get back here as well. Very functional. And look, even at six foot one, my head is not touching even with the hat on. And look, I'm even closer to this vent. So I have tons of um, amenities back here. I could actually see myself being stuck back here for a long time. And this seat could be pushed forward a little bit too. Um, and my knees is barely running into it. So Toyota's done a great job packaging the back end of this vehicle, not only for kids, but for adults too. Yeah, we're gonna show you how the seat works real quick. That might be important for unloading and loading kids up. Keep in mind, this is kind of like the easy button to just get them into the back seat, all right? But what if you need to fold it flat? Well, you have to back it up with this lever, this slides it forward and back, and then this will collapse it down, okay? And then you can still move this all the way forward if you need a little bit more cargo space back here, or if you want someone in the back to have all this additional leg room or essentially a built-in ottoman, right? Let's say you're in the back seat and your sibling left you out to dry, you'll just flip this, and this is the same thing as flipping this lever here, which is tilt and slide, so, yep. How to get on the gas there, pulling out in front of traffic. That was it, good. It's so good. <laughs> so effortless with its family hauling capabilities. Uh, but let's talk about the um, the interior because we already showed you the the, uh, the second and third row here. So Cass, what do you think of what we have going on? I think it's very utilitarian, which you know I'm a big fan of. And look at this, sliding visors. Very nice. Very I nice. love the deep pockets of the water area or yes. whatever that's mm -hmm. called. I love that. Yeah. You can charge two phones or? Well, I'm charging one through the USB. Oh. And there's another USB to charge here. Oh, wow. Which is fantastic. But yeah, you're wireless charging down here, which my phone's hit or miss, so I don't mess with it. And my case is too big nowadays. But there's, yeah, there's just tons of space for phones, yeah. for cups. Like the really big stuff just gets devoured yeah and then we still have an, another cup holder here and there were cup holders in the back cup for the kids. lots of cup holders in the back on the doors in the center console if if you get sorry go ahead oh i need to take a left yeah here. you need to take a left and that's a great thing i've had to do this a few times in to, to get into the turning lane to like just get in the right lane for turning yeah and it has instant power on tap the six speed is super fast um we'll keep talking about driving impressions here but interior yeah Oh, you have another USB over there. I do. This wow. is a good like trip car, you know? It's an amazing Let's road Let's go trip to Key West, car. yo. Yeah, Key West. I'm okay <laughs> with that. Well, it's spring break. Actually, we have this for a little bit of a spring break, but it's not, fortunately. Maybe next spring break. Next we, one. Because I'm, I'm going out of town together. You're traveling. Together. But yeah. yeah, this is beautiful. I, I kind of, this is like very old school almost. It, I love it, It makes though. me think of childhood. <laughs> Yes, but that's perfect because back in the 90s... With the buttons. The buttons and the knobs. <laughs> it's, they're, it's a throwback. It's perfectly functional. Yeah. And the switches here for fan control. We have heated and ventilated seats in this Platinum Ooh, model. fun. I think you get them also... Oh, that's that's something that's kind of annoying. If you, if you have a double turning lane, oh. the blind spot warning will let you know, hey, there's someone in your blind spot. But It's almost like it's in night mode or something right now. Well, I put it in the dark mode. Oh, you did? Because I think it matches the dark dash mm -hmm. instead of having a, a real bright screen. But like if I wanted to double check the brightness, I have to like press a button, bunch of buttons here to figure out the screen, the cog. I'm not a big fan of this Toyota software. Um, it's only a couple years old, but mm -hmm. it, it still feels a little outdated. Um. And like, it took me a bunch of clicks there. So here we go. Actually, I can make the brightness brighter and I can make it, you know, the daytime here if I want. Okay. But it's not, it doesn't match very well in my opinion. So we'll just go back to Android Auto. It's very <laughs> pleasant. Um, and yeah, the knobs are great. The functionality is here. Lots of chargers, lots of space. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this trim? Um, that's all right. I mean, I like the diamond pattern. The diamond pattern's different. Yeah, we don't see that a lot in don't. cars. Um, I now, see it like in trucks. Don't you see that in trucks more often, the diamonds or no? 
Maybe. Mm. I can't place another vehicle with this trim. I feel like I can't. I've seen diamond somewhere. But, I'm sure it's you know, been done. Maybe yeah. in like Audis or but something. I'm not black quite sure. on black is interesting. Black on black. You know, they do break it up a little bit. It's hard to tell with the morning light, but this is bronze here. Oh, it's not chrome. That's it's a It's not chrome. And this is not shiny black plastic. No. It's kind of doled out. And look, the chrome, or sorry, but the bronze matches all over. Remember Except the one? handles. Oh, no. See, yeah, they, you know, no one. Oh, yeah. No one figures out that the handles mismatch the upper trim levels of these cars. All right, Toyota. This is all, you know, bronzed out, bronzed out, bronzed yeah. out. And then you have these ugly oh, aluminum plastic. Oh, they were plastic. so close to getting it perfect. Yeah, they're pretty close. Um, we got the JBL sound system in here. It gets really loud and the bass is pretty strong, but it's not that enjoyable because it starts rattling the, the bottom plastic of these doors. Oh. But it's a, it's a tease. It's way better than... Um, some of the old JBL sound systems in the past, so mm. it's all right. Mm -hmm. um, 360 camera, which is not going to let Love us use that. it while we're driving, mm -hmm. but for a vehicle this large, it's such a nice thing to have to, yeah. to get into your target parking spot. Right. It's just perfect. Right. Those mm -hmm. are tight, so. Yeah. And those are tight, like, parking lots, too. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think for the parking sensors. Yeah you don't get them on the xle or something like which is the base trim you have to go up to the limited mm -hmm. so it is what it is you know Bit for a vehicle bummer. this size really we know big. how important it is to have parking sensors now black is just one of a few different trim colors mm -hmm. um you have gray and i think there's also like this tan Ooh. and maybe another one okay. you know black is kind of the most neutral we like a little bit of spice we like light browns yes. or tans or mm -hmm, grays mm -hmm. um so that's an option that's a route we would be going right especially like in florida i don't oh, want yeah. it to be hot to touch when you right. get in totally all yeah. right i guess we can talk maybe a little bit i mean there's good heat steering wheel too but like the beautiful i can't wheel. ask for really a more functional interior right volume knob here you know we drove the prius a couple weeks ago and the volume knob is all the way over that's here right. you know this is just absolute perfect functionality here. You know, put it on auto, then you can just adjust the temperature. Mm -hmm. um, get into the brakes. This thing brakes really, really well for such a large vehicle. And it's a big, heavy vehicle too. And it doesn't ever feel big, like, well, it feels big. Doesn't it ever feel that heavy? You throw it in the turns, it's more nimble than you would think it would be too. Mm. Um, fuel economy, I'm getting 26 miles per gallon. My trip this morning, I got 31. Oh, wow. It's really, really efficient. And, um, you know, the other hybrid system that they put in this, this is the, you know, the, the super powerful one, but the other hybrid system will get you even better fuel economy, like mm -hmm. 35, 36, 37, somewhere in there. But man, you can take maybe a 10 mile per gallon hit and get really good performance, which when this turns green, I'm going to hit the gas oh, and, um, you know, it's not like neck snapping performance, which is good for the kids, <laughs> yeah. but it's great performance when you need to get around other people, which I do a lot in this vehicle because it is big. And so you kind of have to speed up sometimes to get into the right lane because people aren't going to let you in. No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the digital screen, so large screen here. And I like its touch screen that it's close. It's both of us can get to it. It's mm -hmm. very, I don't know, yeah. functional. Um, the, the additional 12 inch screen here, which is optional in the upper grades is fantastic. It's super customizable. I'm still getting used to it because it is a big departure from old Toyota screens, but it's beautiful. And the head up display here is also customizable. Okay. Well, we can't really hit the gas here due to, um, the, uh, ambulance, but let's go and ahead. this car and, in front of you. Well, let's, well, we have enough power here and I'm not even full pedal down enough power to get out in front of the, the truck that was next to me so I can eventually get in out of front of this uh, small backhoe sort of thing. So <laughs> yeah, once you're up to speed too, it's super smooth, yes. very quiet. Mm -hmm. Now we drove the Lexus TX a few weeks back and that's the luxury version of this. Oh, That's smoother, quieter, a little bit better materials, mm -hmm. less rattles. Every once in a while I hear like, a, I don't know, a seat moving in the back or something, but it's not very worrisome. I never got any of that in the Lexus TX, and that's what Lexus is there for. Everything about the TX felt really, really solid, and it handled better too. Mm -hmm. uh, this vehicle still handles well for a family hauler, and 
its capabilities outstrip what, what a normal family would ever need. Yeah, I know it's, it's amazing to have this much power in, in a Toyota, but you also get the, the benefit of having hybrid fuel economy with 25 plus miles per gallon here. Beautiful. It's really, really impressive. And it's so smooth and quiet. Mm -hmm, it is. Like the shifts, you don't even know it's shifting. Um, the six speed only controls the wheels up front, and then you have the electric motor in the back. And it's just super smooth. We've tested this before in the Crown and the Lexus RX 500H. This powertrain never disappoints with its smoothness. Mm. And for a vehicle of this size, it is awesome to have that, that sort of power and refinement. Yeah. So this is multi-train select. Oh, yeah. I see. It changes yeah. style you yeah, drive. Yeah, this knob I haven't touched once. Like, nah, it's why, Florida. Like, I, don't, I don't need to put this thing in sport mode. It already has plenty of balls yeah. for everyday usage in normal mode mm -hmm. so yeah this is this area is kind of a miss here i feel like downhill ascent control could have been placed maybe up here mm. but yeah you have all these additional buttons if you want to play with them and and uh for sport mode and drive select but like i don't i haven't honestly touched it once and i don't plan on using it at all oh at the power button's down there yeah to turn the car on it's down here which is great because yeah in so many cars, it's somewhere over here yeah. and you can't see it because the oh, steering wheel is in the way. So, it's you better. know, it's, it's a weird spot, but look how s symmetrical it is with like yeah. the, the USB. Like, it's a great interior. Yeah. Very, very happy with it. Uh, the shifter would have been nice to have a real shifter to slam it down into drive or slam it into park, of course. But this is kind of, you, you don't like these. These tiny shifters? Tiny shifters for such a huge Not car. a fan, but whatever, you know? Whatever. I guess that's the only black, black glossy black I really have oh. is here and maybe around the screen. Right. But I haven't been blinded once, so it's a, uh, I guess it's just the right amount of glossy black plastic. Cass, how, does it, how is the seat for you? <laughs> like, do you... You're very picky about ventilation. Do you want to try that on to see oh, what sure. your thoughts Do are? Do I press this? That's heated. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. This one? Yeah. I'm very picky about ventilation. You are. Oh, yeah. It feels good. <laughs> it's cold. It's too cold for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll turn that off, too. Yeah, it's... The, the AC in here works really, really well yes. for such a big vehicle. Yeah, that's and impressive. I have the panel roof uh, available, or should I say the sunshade open on it, so... Um, and it's not the heat of the day. It's only, it's not even nine o'clock. So, but it, no, it, can, but it still it can, feels good. Yes. It's yeah. still great to have that additional light coming in. Yeah. Yeah. But like this thing would be perfect for taking long road trips mm -hmm. in. Not only do you get good fuel economy on the highway, you got that amazing passing power. If you're towing something, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's just, it feels super stable and comfortable at high speeds. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't even, it's almost like I would call that Lexus effect is that it, the powertrain never feels like it's working hard. It's just really smooth and buttery. Um, and it's just, a, it's amazing that Toyota has put this in, in a Toyota. There's an Lexus RZ right there. Yeah. I've only seen a couple of those on the streets, but it's amazing they put this powerful of a powertrain in, you know, their mainstream lineup and not kept it for the Lexus lineup. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it feels like a, a Lexus powertrain with its smoothness and it's refinement. It's just so smooth, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, there's lots of like spots for snacks for traveling. Oh my gosh, yeah, you pack them in, the, in every single door has yeah. pockets. I love then, the captain chairs, is that what it's called in the back? Yeah, or the, the split? Yeah, the captain chairs. That's nice, there. and there's storage, and like you can easily reach Pete, like the kiddos. Yeah, yeah, and I like that this model has a 1500 watt power accessory, so we could take Laptops, oh, iPads. iPads galore. Uh, you can run a lot of, I mean, you can run like a grill with that much wow. wattage. Output. Honestly, I'm like bummed we're not going to Key West. Like, I know. <laughs> like, what a missed opportunity. I know, it is a bit of a missed opportunity. <laughs> but, oh, man. Um, this is a great car. It is really, really nice. You know, if it was Cassie's choice, <laughs> you would pick this over the Sienna minivan. Oh, yeah. Actually, I. As much as I love minivans and the functionality of the sliding doors, yes, the sliding doors. This Hashtag. vehicle is better than the Sienna. We don't, you know, we like the Sienna mainly for its fuel economy. Yes. And the sliding mm -hmm. doors, but outside of that, like we like this vehicle a lot better. Yeah. Um, for a lot of different reasons, but you like sitting up higher. I like the height. Yes, mm -hmm. I like how easy it is to stand up in the back. I mean, yeah. I guess it's the same the for Sienna. Sienna's like that. But there too. is like a stigma with like minivan versus. Yeah. What is this, like an SUV? SUV. I'd, I'd call it an SUV. SUV. Yeah. 
But we better cut it off because Abe's upset. Abe's yeah, he's he's waking up. This is his first Grand Highlander review, and we haven't really got his opinion. So he's upset that we haven't, you know, shared his his thoughts, his thoughts his, and opinions. His valid opinion about the vehicle. Yes, yeah. one amazing family vehicle. Yeah, and amazing. who knew that. Toyota would have needed another large crossover in the lineup with the Sequoia and the Highlander. Like, the Sequoia gets about 20 miles per gallon, but that's more of an off roady and towing sort of yeah. truck. It's like a, it's a truck with its platform. This is like a, a, a massive RAV4. Right, um, it's a different vibe. Different. Totally different vibe. And it's very relaxed. Like it. And the ride quality in here is way better than the Sequoia. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember the Sequoia. The Sequoia was bumpy. Loud and bumpy. Loud and bumpy, yeah. Daddy, I like You like this one, too? I like your I like it. Like, yeah, Maggie likes it. So it's, it's four past the Maggie. Approved. Yeah, four-year-old approved. And she's... Trust us, she's got plenty of opinions. <laughs> so that's a, you, it's good to be on her good side, Toyota. <laughs> uh, the brakes in here are great. I probably mentioned that already. Super smooth. Sometimes with hybrids, you never know. Hmm. Like this is just absolute perfection with, with brake pedal um, and powertrain. Like it's it's a home run. Yeah. Toyota knows it, and um, it's good to have three different powertrains of your liking, three different trim levels of your liking. It's great. It's good car. So it's you know. I could easily see us owning one of these and working for us for many years to yeah. come. Well, yeah, I mean, this one <laughs> this one tops out around 60K, Ooh. but they start off, I think, around 40K. Nice. So, oh, okay. Yeah, they, you know, they're they they're priced very, very impressively for the competition that mm -hmm. they're going up against. And, they, and there's that 360 camera I was talking about. Beautiful. It's great. It's, great. it's very crisp. Yes. Very, very, I mean, and this is like a, a fast refresh rate too. I didn't even talk about the digital rear view mirror. Oh, yeah. Um, which is nice when you have a bunch of kids in the back and they're flying their arms everywhere. Sometimes you can't <laughs> see out the back window. Yes. Or when they're in their, um, their big, car seats. If you have really lifted. big car seats back there yeah, too, that's, it's you can't nice. see anything. Like with my van, it's really hard. It is tough to see since we have bigger seats in there. Yeah. Um, does this, this doesn't have like the, uh, the cabin view oh. like you have in minivans yeah. a lot of the time you know i never use it because it makes we, me a little dizzy it is disorienting i don't know why <laughs> they ever put that in there but this is yeah. awesome this is great yep memory seats over here which is great oh, i mean yeah. you and i are very different, different sizes, sizes so that'd be yeah. great for us too but all right Abe, abe's, <laughs> abe's back done. with the vengeance we'll catch you guys in the next one peace